I currently direct the LSAMP program, the Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation. That program is sponsored by the National Science Foundation, and it was created to assist underrepresented students in science, technology, engineering, and math disciplines. In my neighborhood, if you wanted to be successful, you had to be a lawyer or a doctor. Through the LSAMP program, I got to go to Canada to perform some research about the environment and plastic pollution in the Great Lakes. The summer program is a huge part of our grant program here at the University of Buffalo. We serve anywhere from 10 to 12 undergraduate students, and they really get a chance to see what hands-on research is really like. I didn't have a clue what, what earthquake engineering was about. That's the point of research, learning what you don't know about. And that learning curve is what I think is the most exciting part. I, I found quick success in the lab when it came to you know, working with my hands. And that's what really motivated me because I found the niche, something that, that I was naturally good at that I can only get better in. They bring a different, maybe more fresh perspective. Um, it helps them with their classwork later on, and some of my students, actually undergraduates, decide to stay on for their graduate study. So that's perfect for us because we want that continuation. And it really is exciting to get to spend time with them, to influence them, to maybe shape them a little bit, but you know that these are going to be kids that are going to go on and succeed and do great things. We tell our faculty members, you teach them the science and we'll do the rest. We provide our students with what we like to call soft skills. We also provide them with a research methods workshop. This is something that you don't get on Google. You don't get this sort of analysis of your search results and an opportunity to filter or refine your search set. I think the most that we're learning from research in general is how it can be applied to you know everyday aspects and how is it important for people. We're doing our Science Afloat program, which is a three-hour environmental and nautical science program on the Spirit of Buffalo. One of the things we wanted to focus on for our summer program is giving our students a community service experience. The fact that they're just doing this mainly just for volunteering and from the bottom of their heart, it, it shows the true passion that they have for what they do. We have a number of high school programs on campus, and I think we really have created a wonderful pipeline. I actually didn't know about anything about the STEM professions until I did STEP. The most fun for me was probably the internship that I was exposed to. I learned that it's best to keep your GPA going up and up as you go into high school, so I'm planning ahead, so therefore I can probably get accepted into this college. Our expectation is that after our students do our summer program, that they move on to other programs. We want our students to be competitive for industry internships. We want our students to do research abroad. We went to Istanbul, Turkey, looking at ancient places and historical places. That was really interesting from looking at it from the civil engineering side because you see how old the practice is. You are serving as a role model to these students and my goal is for these students to become very successful and I know that they have the potential to be and they're gonna then serve as the role models for the next generation. The truth is I can go anywhere and I can do anything and that's what a degree in EE is gonna bring me.